Hi, my name is Paul Grogan, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Cuzco. Cuzco is the sixth game in the Stefan Feld City collection, and in this video, I invited some friends over, taught them how to play, and then we played a full game. This video was filmed using a prototype copy of the game and the rules that I was given at the time. What you see is close to the final artwork and overall design, and this video should give you an idea of how it plays and help you make a decision whether it's something that you should back. I would recommend turning on the subtitles and switching them to the Klingon channel, as I will use those subtitles to add in any notes or errors that were spotted during the playthrough. A big thank you to Queen Games for asking me to create this video, but I also rely on the financial support of my Patreon campaign to fund the channel. So if you want to support me directly, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. And now let's head to the table and learn how to play. So welcome to Cuzco. I'm going to be teaching you two how to play. We're going to do a full tutorial first. And then we're going to start playing. Have either of you two played Bora Bora? No. Right. Okay. So learning from scratch because this is a re-implementation of Bora Bora. Anybody watching this video who's already played Bora Bora, you will recognize some similarities with this one. Uh, so thematically, this is Cusco. It's set in the uh, heart of the Incan Empire. Incan Empire. Uh, we've got Tarantin Suyu here, consisting of the stone trails and the uh, wooden bridges. Each of us has one of these, which is like a messenger or a runner, and it's going to be moving around here, and it's going to be sort of delivering and sharing knowledge. Doing that will get you these feathers. There are four different colored feathers in the game, and feathers you will put into your headdress. Headdresses were apparently worn by both men and women at the time, and they were very important. Okay. Now, we've each got a player board, but there are some slight differences to them. There are four player boards included in the game. And it's the it's the colours, the order of the colours around it, which is slightly different. Okay. So we've each been given one of these at random. Now I've done most of the setup, but I just want to go through what we've got. Uh, first of all, the main board here is actually six triangles. So this is a modular board mm -hmm. surrounded by a frame. But you don't just lay them out at random. If you look carefully, this triangle here has got feathers on it, and this one doesn't. Okay. This one does. This one doesn't. So yeah. you alternate that, but you alternate it around these. So what we've actually got is there's a feather here, which means the triangle without the feathers is here. Okay. What we've actually got is we've got villages. This is a village and this is a village. So we've got six inner villages and we have six outer villages. Each village is made up by a feather space and an empty space where you're going to be putting something. Okay. So what happens in the game is your messenger will move one space at a time, will move to somewhere. And when you get there, you will drop off one of these tiles, now this is a prototype copy of the game. These are just going to be thick tiles. But he's done them like this so that they're easier to pick up. You will drop that there and you will gain the feather. Okay. The points at the end of the game is for whoever's tile is on top. So if you was to go there and you pass me one of your tiles, yeah. that will go on top like that. Right. And you'll get the points at the end of the game. Okay. Okay. But basically we're going to be moving our messengers around uh, and messengers will be will be gaining these feathers. When you gain feathers, you put them in your headdress. That will be that will be important later on. So the game is played over six rounds. We actually track the rounds. We have a board over here, which is the Cusco board. Lots of stuff on here, but this is the round tracker. So we start off in round one, mm -hmm. and then we go to round two, three, four, five, six, and then it's end of the game. Okay. This isn't one of those games where at the end of the round we finish the round and then do one more round. None of that stuff. Okay. It is just six rounds and then final scoring. So we're going to play the game over six rounds and it's the player with the most points who wins. We track the points around the outside of the Cusco board. Yeah. Let's determine player order because our points start depending on where we are in player order. So if you just want to take the start player, uh, the yeah, the VP markers, yeah. shuffle them together, pick one at random. Start player is blue. So what we do is we take this piece, which is player order token number one, second player. He's Gemma, you know two, and you are number three. Yeah. So in terms of victory points, I start with zero victory points because I'm player one. Okay. Gemma starts with one victory point, and Nick, you start with two victory points. Okay. While we're on that board, we also have this status track. This is the university, yeah. and we're all gaining status. We start off on here. We all start off on space zero, mm -hmm. but it actually goes like that. So the player who is currently... First in player order will yeah. will go on top. So yeah, we're playing the game over six rounds. Each round is divided into three phases, and 
Phase one is the main phase, and mm-hmm. that is where we're going to be rolling our dice, yeah. and then one at a time we're going to be placing our dice. So I'm the first player. I will place one of my dice. I'll do an action. Mm-hmm. Then Gemma, you'll place one of your dice, do an action. Then Nick, back to me. Then Gemma, then Nick, back to me. Then Gemma, then Nick. Okay. Yeah. That's the end of the action phase. So the action phase is, is the main part of the game. In the second phase of the game, each of us can use one farming tile, which is the blue one, as long as we've got it on our player board, okay. and one study tile. So you want to be collecting those because every single round of the game in phase two, you can use one of them. Mm-hmm. And interestingly enough, if you've got multiple of the same type, when I say use one of them, if you have two of the same type, you actually use them both. So you use one type of tile, both the blue tiles and one of the orange tiles. That doesn't cost an action or anything else. That's just something that happens in phase two. In phase three, we go through this board. So we move Mr. Stefan Feld, who uh, is an Incan Empire ambassador at the time. Um, And first of all, we do this track here, which is... Gain points depending on where you are, Mm -hmm. and then change turn order based on how far you are ahead. Then we go to the temple. Everybody who's got a priest in the temple will earn some points depending on what round number it is. And then whoever's nearest the top will get one of these uh, its knee tiles. We'll Mm -hmm. we'll come to them later on. Then we go to the market. And in round one, these are the goods that are on offer. You spend food to buy goods. Food is a resource that you will collect during the game and you spend the indicated number of food to get the points shown at the top. It's very simple. That's all they do. They're not for anything else. They're just buy them to get points. Then we go to this part of the game. Now, and this part of the game, this is interesting because if we look at our player boards, there is space here for three missions. Okay. Now, there are five starting missions included in the game. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a bit of a shuffle. And Jeremy, do you want to pick a number from one to five? Four. Well, one, two, three, four. Nick, you want to pick a number from one to four? One, because I'm easy and it's on the top. You can have the one on the bottom. Oh. <laughs> and then for me, top, middle or bottom? Middle. Middle. So that's that one. Right, that is your starting mission. That is easier to accomplish than the other missions included in the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you two more missions. And these missions slot into the other two slots on your player board. So these are a lot harder to do. Okay. I think that's that way around. Yeah. Right. So they are they are my three missions. That one being a starting one. Doesn't mean that's the one I have to do first, but I probably will. Because okay. the chance of me being able to do these two at the end of round one. Yeah. Um, so at the end of every single round of the game, when Stefan Feld moves to here, all players must either complete a mission or discard a mission. Mm -hmm. If you complete a mission, you get six points. If you discard it, you don't get any points. So every single round of the game, you want to be aiming for one of the missions and trying to complete it. Whether you complete it or you discard it, you get a replacement one. Mm -hmm. And there's five here because we're playing a three-player game. And you do that even in round six. So at the end of the game, after you've played six rounds, you will still have three missions on here. And at the end of the game, you can try and complete all of them. Okay. So the best case is you can can complete nine missions by the end of the game. Six during the game, and then three at the end. But that's what happens there. That's what happens in phase three. And I've kind of explained that first, so you know what's going to happen at the end of each round. Uh, We then move the round marker to here. Any goods that were not bought will get discarded. Mm -hmm. Uh, We discard all remaining missions and replenish them we discard all remaining study tiles and farmer tiles yeah. and replenish them. I think that's right. I'm just going to double check that. Remove any leftover study and farming tiles, correct. Refill the rows of study and farming tiles with new ones. Remove the leftover missions and replenish them with new ones. Yeah, so I got it right. So everything is discarded uh, and then replenished. And we do that six times. Okay. Right. So what do you do on your turn? Well, at the start of each uh, round, phase one, is the action phase, you roll your three dice. Yeah. Now, there's no dice manipulation in this game yeah. at all. So you've rolled your dice, they are your dice, and then what's going to happen is we're going to take actions with those dice. These are the different actions available. In fact, I've got a zoom in here. Now, <laughs> these are the actions for a three-player game. Okay. If we were playing a two-player game, yeah. that would be combined into one action. And if we were playing a four-player game, this action would actually be split 
into two different movement actions, one for the stone trails, one for the rope bridges. Yeah. But as it is, we're playing a three-player game, so it's that. To perform an action is really simple. You put a dice on the space and you do the action. Now, the cleverness is, now that there's a three on this action, anybody else going there cannot go there with a three or higher. Right. You have to go there with a die lower than what's already there. Okay. But the number of pips is the strength of the action. <laughs> okay. So I go there with a three. I do that action with the strength of three, but yeah. nobody can then go higher than a three. Okay. In fact, nobody can go three or higher. Yeah. You can only go lower. There is one exception to that, and that is this space mm -hmm. here. And we'll explain that space first. This is really simple. You go there with any die of any value. It doesn't matter what the value is. You get two points. Okay. Right? It's quite a weak action, but if you're stuck, yeah. that, that's, that's what you can do. The next actions to explain are these two. These two actions are the same, just for different types of tiles. This is for study tiles. This is for farming tiles. So if we take a look over, uh, in fact, I've got a zoom in of these. Oh. Yes, there we go. Um, so what we've got is we've got six random study tiles and six random farming tiles. You can take whichever one equal to the value of your die or less. So if I went there with a, a blue three, so if, I, if I went on the farming with a three, I could take that one, that one, or that one. Okay. Okay. So going there with a six doesn't allow me to take any other any more tiles. Yeah. It just gives me more choice. But they're placed randomly. They don't. They get, are placed randomly. They don't get better the higher nope. up you go. But no. I might really want that one. Okay. For example. Okay. 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 Now, when you take uh, a tile, you put it onto your player board. Now you've got twelve spaces for these tiles. Yeah. So collectively, these are called people tiles. They're either farming or they're study. You've got 12 spaces for them, but only two of them are available at the start of the game. Okay. In order to clear up more space for more tiles, you need to use your messenger to move around to drop off these okay. to give you more space. Whenever you take one, you put it in the top and you put it in the top half, yep. not, not there, because there is a way you can slide these down later on. You put it in the top half. Now, there's two things printed, two bits of information on here. There's the ability of the tile, which is used in phase two. Remember, phase two, you get to use the ability of one of your farming tiles and one of your study tiles. Yeah. But also, all of the farming tiles have the ability to generate food. Okay. And all of the study tiles have the ability to generate, like, study points. Okay. When you slide them down. And we'll, we'll come on to that in a minute. But what you do, you take a tile, you put it on here. Uh, and that's that action. Okay. So that action is is relatively simple. It is just take a tile. Can I just ask a question? Yep. So if I went on there with a one, say... You could take... I well, could take that one. Yes. But nobody else could then take one after. Correct. Me. Exactly. So if that was my roll, three, two, one... Quite loud, aren't I? I can go, I'll have that. And then everyone's... Right, and I get that, and nobody else can take a study tile at all that round. That's quite interesting. Now, what we haven't mentioned yet is the god cards, right? The, I'm going to mention the god cards at the very end okay. because they break the rules of the game. Excellent. So I'll cover the basic rules first and then okay. we'll come on to the god cards. So that's that one done, that's that one done, that one done. Right, yeah. the next action to explain is this one. This is like trading. Mm -hmm. What you do is you actually spend the pips on your dice for either this or this. Okay. This trading here will cost one pip, this trading will cost two pips. So for one pip, you can slide down one of your tiles and gain either the study points or the food, as I've just shown you. So right. you slide the tile down on your player board. So if I had that one and I had it there, I could slide it down and I would get three food. Okay. Now, once once slid down, mm -hmm. they don't go back up. Yeah. Okay. So it is a one-use thing. You slide them down, you get what's printed on them. Is there anything around the iconography here? Does this mean anything, these two? That's food. Yeah. And the other one is... Yeah, but that doesn't have points. any bearing, does it, on in the game? It, oh, no, one's on the left, one's on the right. Yeah, yeah okay. So that's that's another thing. That's one thing you can spend your pip on. Mm. You can also spend a pip to gain a victory point. Yeah. The other th thing you can do here is you can spend two pips to either unlock one of your Kwipu tokens. Mm -hmm. So you don't place it on the board, but what you do is you take it from there and you put it down here. Mm -hmm. That has unlocked the space which means you can use the space. Or you can take a feather of any color, or you can gain an offering. Now we haven't mentioned the offerings yet. No. Or you can take a God card, and we haven't mentioned the God card yet either. But that is where you can basically spend your pips of your die yeah. 
to get stuff. And when you say spend a pip, if I had a value six and I put it on the one on the left, I couldn't do it six times. Yeah. Can. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Okay. You could just gain six points. Can you mix and match? Yeah. Yeah. You spend your pips however you want to on the on those actions. Okay. Right, next one is temple. Priests are very important. Uh, and what you can do is you can send one of your priests to a temple. So you start the game with four priests. These are prototype components. These are from Marrakesh, but oh. they will actually <laughs> look like that. Excellent. Uh, and what you can do is you send them to the temple, which is here. Yeah. Now the value of the die tells you where you can send them to. So if I've gone there with a three, I can go on the three. If anybody was on the three, they'd get moved down to the two. Okay. And then if there was somebody on the two, they'd get moved down to the one. And if there was somebody on the one, they'd go back home. Okay. Now, the reason why you want priests in the temple is at the end of the round, you're going to score points for every priest you have in the temple. Mm -hmm. And whoever is the highest will gain this medal. Okay. There are six medals there, one for each round in the game. Okay. And we'll come on to what the medals do in a minute. We all start the game with one of those medals. Okay. So, yeah, so that's sending a priest to the temple. This action... Right, this is only when you have two feathers, the, the two feathers that is needed for your circlet to tile. So if I show you my player board, if I've got, for example, that feather and that feather, because feathers can only go on their respective colored places, I can now use that action to flip that tile over. So it's only when you've got the two feathers that go into the circlet tile. Right. Flipping the circle tile is very easy. You get the, you need to use the uh, die of that value or higher to do it. So if I've gone there with a three, I can't actually do this one. I can yeah. only do that one, that one, or that one. But if I did use a five, what you then do is you flip it over, you get the points printed on it, mm -hmm. and you also get points, and I've written it on here because it's currently not written anywhere, <laughs> based on the round. So if it's round one or two, you get an extra 10 points. Okay. Round three or four, seven points. Yeah. Five or six, four points. Okay. Basically, the earlier you do it, the better. Yeah, okay. But that's all they do. They don't give you any ongoing abilities or anything. You just flip them over and you get points. Mm -hmm. Right, the last action to explain is what this board is about. This is moving. So when you move around, you only ever move one space at a time. The value on the die tells you where you can go. So if I moved with a value of three right now, I could go along here to here, or I could go along here to here, or I could go along here to here. Okay. Because it's one, two, or three. If I was here uh, okay. and I used a three, I could either go back there, along here, or over there. Okay. So you only ever move one space at a time. When you move to a village that you haven't been to before, you spread the word, send messages out, you put one of your tokens on, as we showed earlier, you get the feather immediately, mm -hmm. and that might be worth points at the end of the game okay. if you're the highest. Yes. Each player can only have one on each village, mm -hmm. but the villages can have... One from each player. Okay. You can move back to the center. Now, if you move back to the center, and there is something that I forgot, so apologies for that, but this fire symbol here is a fire test. And I forgot it when talking about the temple. Okay. So whenever you do the <clears throat> temple action, so apologies for that, whenever you do the temple action, you also do a fire test. Mm -hmm. So you do a fire test here, and you can also do it whenever you move back to the center. Now, a fire test is explained on your player array. You've got these player arrays that are really good, okay. and the fire test is at the top. You either take a god card or an offering, okay. and then gain one study point or one food. Okay. So that's every time you do a fire test, which is there, and if you, if you move back here. Okay. Any questions about those actions? Um, I, you can go on, so long as... You, the value of the dice is lower than one that was previously placed. I could go to the same space twice. I believe so. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I could spend all three dice on moving. Yeah. I mean, I've got three, two, one. I could so go you three, could go, two, one. Yeah. And I and I could go wherever that would go. Yeah. Well, there and then there and then back, back there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You could do. Yeah. I think I think you can do that. Okay. So oh, hang on. The fire test is also on the headdress action. We just have a look at my thing. So every time you flip one of these tiles over you get to do a fire test. Okay. So I might actually suggest to them to put that on here. So it's the same as that rather than on the tile, mm. just for a little bit of consistency. So you actually get to do a fire test in a few different ways. Okay. Right, any other questions about the actions? Well, I think what you said, um, 
these are the points at the end of the game if you're at the top of the pile. Only if you're on top. Okay. Yeah, so the last person to have got to the village. And will presumably get the once you've laid these, you can't move them. Correct, you can't move them. Right. So let's have a look at the player boards. We've explained a lot of this actually. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we haven't done yet is at the start of the game, we take one feather of each type. We give them a shuffle. Nick, pick a number from one to four. Four. Jenna, top, middle or bottom? Top. And me, my left or my right? Left. Okay. And then you slot that in wherever you want. So everybody starts the game. Wherever we want. Doesn't have to match. Matching, matching colour, but you have three options for where it can go. And start the game. We've got our starting mission, and I will go through all of the starting missions before we start. Once you get to know the iconography, things things click into place. Yeah. These colours are quite similar, aren't they? They are a little bit similar. Again, this is a prototype copy, so hopefully. Um, but the feathers are also different types of feathers. Oh. Okay. So we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Right, the other thing that we start with is two offerings okay. and one of these medals. Yeah. And I will come on to what they do uh, in a second as well. You have a space down here for storing these. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a space here for buying goods. Yep. And you have a space for storing food. Can you only place one of these here at any one time? No, no, no. I think you can have more than one. So you can stack. You can stack yeah. Them. yeah. Okay. Right. Let's talk about the end of the game. Yep. Because there's a huge amount of points that you can get at the end of the game. And this is all on the back of the player raid. So every one of these medals, and you can use these during the game, but every one of these you've got left at the end of the game is two points. Mm -hmm. Right. This next thing on the player aid is if you are the top of a stack in a village, you get the points based on the village, as we've mentioned. Mm -hmm. If you've got all 12 feathers, six points. If you've unlocked all six of your circlet tiles, nine points. Yeah. If you've completed all nine missions, nine points. If you have unlocked all 10 of these Quipu tiles, 10 points. If you have 12 farmers stroke study tiles, in other words, you've filled every single space on here with a people tile, that's 12 points. Okay. And remember the goods, you can buy one good every round. Mm -hmm. If you've bought all six goods, you get six points. Okay. So this is the end of game scoring printed on here. Yeah. Food, offerings, and god cards are worth nothing at the end of the game. Worth nothing. Okay. Absolutely Nettle. nothing. So nothing, nothing <laughs> for those. Right. Let's talk a bit about phase two. So if we have a look at my player board, let's say I've got uh, those two tiles and I've got that one, right? So let, let's say... I've got that, and I've got that, and I've got that. So in phase two of every round, mm -hmm. all players may choose one of their farming tiles and use the ability of that tile, okay. and one of their study tiles and use the ability of that tile. Now, in this case, I only have one study <coughs> tile, so I would choose that one, and that ability is very simple. It's gain one offering. However, here, I have two identical farming tiles. So I, although I choose this tile... I actually get to use both of them mm. combined. Okay. It's not two separate abilities. I don't do that ability and then that ability. I actually combine them. Right. Just going into a bit of detail, the reason why that's important is this allows me to move my runner or my messenger across a rope bridge with a value of two or less. Mm. But combining those two means I can move it across a rope bridge of four or less. Right. So it actually makes the action more powerful. Okay, I understand. Okay? Yeah. Whereas if I had two of these tiles, that would simply be two offerings. Okay. So some cases, combining two tiles together is literally just the action twice. Yeah. Sometimes combining to them together gives you a better version of that action. Okay. Uh, that doesn't slide the tile down or anything like that. You just say, that's what I'm doing, that's what I'm doing, mm. and, and that happens in phase two. Can you reuse the same ones? Yep. So if you collected a set of, say, the same three or You'd four... You'd use them every single time. Right, okay. Yeah, because it, it doesn't use them, it doesn't cost, it doesn't spend them, it doesn't activate them or anything like that. Right. Just a clarification, this end-of-game scoring, all ten don't need to have just been unlocked from here. They need to be on the board. And not in your reserve. And not in your reserve. So if you have any in your reserve, it doesn't count for the, okay. for the ten points at the end of the game. <clears throat> okay. 
Right. Any questions so far? No. Right. Let's go through the missions that we've got to start with. Okay. And let's go through what they are. So the starting mission, relatively simple. I need to have bought one good and have one farming tile. Yours is to have one priest in the temple and one study tile. Yours is to have... Oh, to be the first player. Oh. Well, that's dead easy. You just move up the study track. All oh, right, okay. All right. Be the first player and have a study tile. Okay. Now, remember, missions are done uh, pretty much the last thing in the round. Yeah. You must complete one of your missions. If you can't, you have to discard one. And if you complete it, you get six points. Okay. Right, next missions. And like all of the games in the Feld collection, the game is going to come with a big addendum, like an eight-page booklet, telling you what all of the things do. And I'm just going to refer to that now, just so that I don't make any mistakes. Right, this one here, and they are all individually numbered as well. So I've got number nine, which says, I must have delivered a quipu to each of the three villages that require a pink feather. Right. And there'll be one of those for the four different coloured feathers. So that means there, there, and there. So that's quite hard to do. I need to go there, there, and there to be able to do that mission. This one is, this one's easier to explain. This is just to have the quipus on nine of these. Okay. Gemma, can you work out what yours do? Um, is this two? Or yeah, two of a specific uh, type of good. It's these so, ones. Yeah, so in round one and two, I could potentially... So in round one, them. you buy that. Round two, you buy that. That's that mission done. And this one would be um, presumably just four of the... Orange four of the study tiles. tiles. And so they would be then placed yeah. in there. Yeah. Nick? Um, is this two... Of these number three ones? Ooh, what number is the tile? Uh, 55. Tile number 55 <coughs> says, you must have at least two people tiles, farming and or study, the farming tile three on your mask board. What does that mean? Let me just have a look. I think it's that one. Right. Okay. Right at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then yeah. this one is two times, and I don't know what that icon is. Oh, two of these god cards. It's two of those god cards in hand. Okay. So yeah, there's, there's god cards for the five different gods, and yeah. you need to have two of those in hand. And we haven't talked about this yet. We haven't talked about this yet. No. But we've done the missions. Yeah. We've done the starting mission, so we know what it is that we're, we're, we're sort of aiming to do. Can I achieve more than one mission at the same no. time? No, so it's no. one mission at the end of each round. Okay. And then at the end of the game, you can do the remaining three. Okay. Yeah. And if you manage to do all nine, then you get a bonus of nine points. That sounds hard for doing it. It does seem hard. <laughs> it does seem very, Lots very hard. Lots of these end scoring ones seem quite hard. Yeah. Okay, so the god cards. Yes. So we got five different gods. Mm -hmm. uh, there are three different abilities for each god, and there are four cards for each ability in the game. So in each of these stacks, there's 12 cards, three different types, four of each. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is... We're going to give these a shuffle and we're going to take out two from each pile and then we're going to shuffle those and each of us is going to start with two god cards in hand. Now to play a god card you must spend an offering. Okay. We each start with two offerings mm -hmm. and basically you have to spend an offering in order to play a god card. Yeah. The god cards all do different things. Mm -hmm. uh, they are one use only once, once you've played them they're gone. Yeah. And the, 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 the number in the top left tells you which phase it can be played in. Okay. And again, once you get to know these, then it'll be easier. Now, I also mentioned you've got one of these medals, these Ithne medals. Yeah. You can use a medal to use a god card which is on display because the top card of each of these is going to be visible. Ah, okay. So to use one of these, you can spend a medal to use the ability of a card that's there which then discards it. Okay. But remember, these are worth two points at the end of the game. Yeah. So, two of each god card. Mm -hmm. These get shuffled. We get two each. If you've got two of the same colour, let me know. Why? Because I can score my thing. No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. So I'm good. No. Right. If you had two of the same colour, you would discard one of them. Take another. And take a different one from okay. here. So you have to have two gods... Um, of different colours. And are these face up or face down? They're supposed to be in your hand. Open knowledge? So it's secret. Okay. But I'm just going to go through mine so I can explain what they are. 
uh, and we'll go through each of yours just so and, and then the top card of these is visible as well so yeah just for the purposes of this explanation we'll explain what we've got so this card here is in phase one which is the action phase whenever i take one of those tiles i take an extra one from the discards okay so no good playing this in round one because there are no discards yeah but yeah whenever i take a study or a farming tile i get an extra one which can be a different type can be different completely different but i take it from the discard pile. Mm -hmm. this one in phase two uh remember phase two is activating a study tile and activating a farming tile this allows me to activate another study tile mm -hmm. that has to be different from the first one okay Gemma. That's, that's exactly the same book for farming tiles. That is, this is interesting. So either in phase three or at the end of the game, you can choose one of your missions and complete it with one fewer thing. Yeah, okay. But if you do, you only get four points instead of six. But it, it's still completing the mission, which might be, might be important. Mm -hmm. This one, in phase one, whenever you move, you can actually just teleport your messenger to another village. To anywhere. I think so. Let me just double check really that. really good, doesn't it? Um, this is the addendum, god cards, um, what colour is it? Yellow. When using one of the movement action spaces, your chasqui may jump to any village of your choice regardless of the number of pips. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So I could be here and go... And just go over here. Okay. Yeah. Be good for your scoring. It one, would. Then. Yeah. Yeah. So I love that. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, and that's the same as mine. Yeah, okay. Right, let's have a quick look at what we've got on display. So this one allows you to place a dice of equal or higher value mm -hmm. when you do this. Okay. Uh, that one we've seen. This one, uh, whenever you take a goods tile, and this is only a one-off, you get double the points of it. Mm -hmm. The icon, the graphics here has changed. This is a prototype copy. This has now changed. But what this is saying is when you take a goods tile, you get the points printed on it. Mm -hmm. You normally do that anyway, so they've changed the graphic design to say you get double the points of it. This one is when you've placed the die, you immediately have an extra virtual die of value one. So you immediately say, okay. I'm now going to do another action with value one. Yeah, okay. You don't actually put a physical die on there, but it has to follow all the normal rules. Okay. That's it for the god cards. So yeah, we start with two of these. They're not worth anything at the end of the game. Mm. So use them, and to play them, you use the offerings, which are also not worth anything at the end of the game. Remind me how we get the offerings again. Various ways of getting offerings. There are tiles which give you offerings. Okay. Uh, the fire test oh, yeah. can get you an offering as well. So there's a few ways of getting offerings um, and a few ways of getting god yeah. cards. Just thinking out loud, just with this yeah. one here, say I was here, say, and I wanted to go over there. Mm -hmm. I could put this one down with a value one dice, block that space for everyone else and fly across the board, couldn't I? Yeah, yeah. And and then we won't invite you to play games. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do that. That's yeah, yeah. absolutely fine. Okay. Yeah. No, I think I think there could definitely be some quite nasty play yeah. with the dice if you want to. Mm. I'm looking at you two thinking when you're going to play this game at home, you're going to be going, yeah, oh, if I go here with a one. <laughs> no, but I think that's it. Yeah. In a game where low dice mean, oh, I roll low dice. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Actually, if you're first player, you go, right, there you go. All right. right. No, nobody else is moving for the rest of this round. Okay. So you could quite easily block off some actions. Okay. Looking at you. No. <laughs> right. Are we ready to go? One thing I don't think we've touched on. What have I missed? How do we move up the turn order mark track? Have we uh, mentioned that? So a few ways. Okay. One of the ways is by going to this action, okay. spending a pip to move a study tile down. Yeah. That will generate you the study points printed on it. Other than that, it is just wherever you see that icon. Right. Okay. So for example, if I move that one down, I would you get three. three. Yep. Do I go up three of the spaces? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I see. Sorry. So that's okay. That's the icon on these ones here. Then. Yep. Um, the fire test can gain you a study point. Okay. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned, but when we do this university track, you get the points printed on there and then everything resets back to the start. Every round. Every round, yeah. it reset back. Mm -hmm. So you can try and get as high as you can, but then it, it will go back down. Okay. But yeah, I'm looking at where you can generate study points from and I'm not seeing that many. No. But there must be ways of doing it. 
there must be there must be tiles out there that <coughs> that do that. Right, are we all ready? I think so. So it's a lot to take in. Yeah. <laughs> and oddly enough, yeah. I've not played this game before. So I have okay. played Bora Bora once a long time ago, the year it came out. Okay. But I can't remember anything about it. Okay. So you've got your god cards in hand, you've got your two offerings, you've got your medal. Off we go, round one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there we go. That that's pretty awful, tiles, isn't it? Um, well, based on the fact that for this starting mission, I need to have a farming tile. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on here with the one. Could I take the farming tile in number one spot, please? That's the blue one. Sorry, yeah. And I'm just going to put that here. So that doesn't refresh. Those those don't refresh until. The end of the round. Doesn't make a difference to me and Gemma, does it? We're not going Well, no, because you can't go on there no, unless start. you've got some fancy card. Yeah. Because there, there is a card. So here's the thing. Thinking out loud and learning while we're going, if you really needed a farming tile, mm. you could. If you can do a fire test somehow, yeah. take that god card, that god card will then allow you to go on there with a die of a higher value. Okay. So it is possible. Gemma. Where yeah, we you're next. What have you got? You've got a five, three, and a one. Hmm. I think I'm going to go a three here. Yep, so you can take farming tile one, two, or three. If you want to explain what any of them do, let me know. But I'm hoping the iconography is fairly clear. I'm liking the look of number two. Mm -hmm. Which is simply get two victory points. Yeah. And then when I move it down, I can go up four. Yep. Yeah. And so I put it. That just there, goes in there, yeah. At the top. There you go. Nick's um, got a six. Yeah, I do. I'm quite liking with this one. I'm assuming that's take any colour feather, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. That looks quite nice. Do you get the what's on it when you move it down? No, that's that's its ability, which you can activate in phase two. Oh, okay. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do that and take this one here. That's, yeah. I mean, I was about to do that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Okay. Um, well, based on the fact that I've got no food mm -hmm. and I'm going to need food to buy a good, I think I'm going to go on here with a one and I'm going to spend my one pip to move that down to get two food. Okay. Yeah. I should look at these cards. So there's mm. no way for us to slide <coughs> down now, no. is there? No. Not without any special powers that allow you to to do that. No. Um, I'm <coughs> going to go um, and place... Okay. So you can place a priest on so anywhere up to five. You might as well pick five. five. Yeah. Yep. And, and you get to do a fire test. Oh, okay. So you can either take a god card or an offering. Yeah. And then either one study point or one food. Hmm. I'm going to do the god card thing. I think I explained a rule wrong. Okay. So apologies for this. It's not going to affect anything, but I did explain a rule wrong. I said, whoever's the highest on the temple gets the medal. Not true. Okay. Whoever's got the most priests in the temple... <clears throat> Gets the medal. Ah, okay. okay. Tiebreaker is the one that's nearest the top. Understood. So more priests in the temple will will be better than just higher up. Apologies for that. Do the priests come off at the end of the round? Nope. So they stay no, they stay there until people until keep sending more off. priests and they yeah. start moving down. Yeah. Um, so for the fighters, I think I'm going to take the card. Yep. Uh, and you can use the god card to win out, can't you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then I also get to either go up. Um, or a one study point or one food. Remember, you would need food to buy a good. Yeah. Um, and is it just one good per food, or do you need more than one? Uh, so this, uh, let's just have a look. I think I've got... Yep, yeah. so this this here costs one food, okay. and we'll get you one point. This costs two food, okay. we'll get you three points. This costs three food and gets you five points. I can take the um, food. Yep. And then, can I play this card? That's when you're placing a dice. When I'm placing yep. a dice. 
Right, Nick, what you're color, next. What colour is that? Is that pink? That's pink. Yeah. Okay. What? The pink ones have got a pointy end. Oh, okay. And the purple ones have got a rounded end. Oh, I understand. Um, can you put <coughs> that on the far one for me? I think this that's one? right. So I, because I've been on a six... You I can move it anywhere. There, can't I? You can move there. So yeah. I want to put one of these on. <coughs> so put one of those on there, and you get a pink feather. Please. Thank you very much. So I've got a two left, and... I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think I'm going to go on the movement as well. We're going to send my messenger out to here. I'm going to put that tile on there. And I'm also going to get a pink feather, which I'm going to put here. Okay. Me, then just me. So mm. can I... I'm sorry. No, James, go on. I'm sorry, I couldn't see your dice. Um, <coughs> can you remind me what this card does? I yeah, so it allows you to put a dice on a space with an equal or higher value. Yeah, there's a reason why I wanted to do it, but now I can't remember. That means you can put dice anywhere. Is it because you wanted to go there? Yeah. Possibly, yes, because I wanted the food thing. But I've only got a one. Yeah, the problem be. is you wouldn't be able to take because there's yeah. no front. Yeah. Oh, um, that's okay. So you could go on Maybe here one. if you wanted to slide that down to get four study points. That seems, does that seem quite a good thing to do? Because then I'll be at the top and then I'll be first player next you time. You would be first player next time? Or do I to move? If you moved, you would only be able to move to here. But that, yeah. that's fine. You might want to move to you there. You might be okay. I don't know. What do you think? What do I think you should do? Yeah. <laughs> um, or you could just take two points. I am going to... True, slide, and keep the card. Yeah. Slide my card down. So you're so going to play that card. So you have to spend an offering to play the card. This one? Yep. And back to there. Back, back to there. And then, so I pull it down. You slide that down, you get four study four. points. So we move red, one, two, three, four. There you go. Right. I don't know I've done this right. Do, does the dice that you put into that one need to match that? Or be higher. So you, you can. You can flip that over. Can I do that? Yeah, please? so you're going to use the headdress action. Yeah. So you flip that over, you get the two points printed on it. Sorry, the one point printed on it. Okay. Plus 10 points because it's round one. Okay. So that's what so you gain 11 see. points. Yeah. You flip the tile over and you do a fire test. Okay. That seems really good. <laughs> <laughs> what do I want to do in a fire test? Do I want to take a card and offering? Or is, it, is, that just, is that just one? We've had another god card come out, so yeah. I will explain this one. Mm. In a fire test, instead of getting the normal stuff of a fire test, yeah. and this is going to be changed because this is not clear, you get three study points and three food. Oh, I needed that one. Right. But at the moment, if I did that, I would only get one. You get one god card or an offering, yeah, and one study point or one food. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to take a god card. I'm going to take this one here. Mm -hmm. And study point or food. Can I buy anything with one food? But I'll go last, won't I? Yeah. That's the problem. And I won't. I need to be in first place for this one. But I suppose I'll go there for one point. At least it's okay. me a bit better. Than right. Round. So we're done with the action phase. Okay. So now we go to phase two. So in phase two, each of us can use... Oh, sorry, I should have taken these off. No, no, no. They stay. Oh, do Yeah, yeah. Because if you collect all 12... Yeah. You get points at the end. Oh. So each of us can use one farming tile and everything that matches it and one... Study tile. Mm -hmm. Now, as it turns out, we've both got tiles that different colours but do the same thing, and you just get two points. They're nice and easy to start with. Mm, no two points, please. Why do you get two points? Oh, okay. Yeah. You're all red. It's actually bad me having a pink one. Yeah, okay. Because I've only got three pink slots for feathers. I need to go to all three pink spaces. Mm. My my fourth pink feather will just be wasted. So I'm going to take this one. Pop it in there. So you've got your two points. Um, I get to take you a get to take single feather. feather. Um, I would like, please, a purple one. So I'll have one of these. Which goes anywhere. Wherever you want. In a purple slot. Yeah. Sorry, there is a method behind my madness. I'm just, lo I'm just looking on here to see where I can. Mm. Why not? And now, 
We do phase three. So the first thing is we do the study track. So Gemma gets another two points. And Nick, you get an extra one point. And then those tokens reset. In the order. Yeah. And yeah. now we adjust this. So that goes to there. That goes to there. That, that goes to me. Thanks. Okay. And now we move to here. So in round one, and this is printed on the player rate, it is one point per priest. So Gemma gets one point for having one priest in the temple. And then Gemma has the most priest in the temple, so Gemma gets the medal. Oh, lovely. There you go. There you go, enjoy that. Oh, on. Now we're going to move on to the market. So again, this is done in turn order, unfortunately. So Gemma, would you like to spend your one food to buy the only... These were randomly placed, by the way. Were they? Okay. Yeah, yeah, completely random. And if we were playing a four-player game, we'd have an extra one okay. here. I think, yeah, I think I will. You are going to buy you. that? Yes, please. Yeah, so you do that and you get one point. And Nick. does that just go? No, it goes on the, the player board. Oh, I'm sorry. What's the point in keeping those? Because if you get six. Ah, uh, okay. I haven't got any. So. Uh, and I, I. Oh, I've got two. How did I get two food? Oh, well, in that case, I will spend two food and I'll take that. Could I have three points, please? There we go. Right. Uh, now we move on to missions. So, Gemma, do you have a mission that you can complete? Yes, I think I can. So it's um, uh, one of the priests in the temple and an orange card. Yeah. Sorry, can I just move that there? I put that in the wrong Could place. Yeah. Sorry. So what you do is you flip that over and put it there. Uh, and you get six points. Like yeah. Oh, and you take one of these five. To fill to in. To fill in the spot, yeah. So that's for having three farming tiles. That's three similar to the one tiles, that... Uh, three different ones, yes. That's uh, similar to the one that Nick's already got. This is for having two tiles with that ability on. This is for having three different... Sorry, that's study tiles. This is three different farming tiles. And this is three orange feathers. None of them are very good. Um, can, I <laughs> can I take the three orange cards, please? The three different study tiles, yep. Right, Nick. Um, I can't achieve any of mine, so can I just get rid of that? So one? you can discard one. For nothing. So that's just removed from the game. There you go. And you take a replacement. Should it not be you for. Uh, does the turn order take effect? Turn order. Yeah. Right, yeah. okay. Um, yeah, I don't really like any of them. I'll take the three orange feathers, please. You know, I don't see it happening. Um, I'm going to take the three different farming tiles. Oh, I'll do a mission first. I've got a good and I've got a blue tile. So I've done that one. Okay, so six points for you. Six points for me. That goes there. That goes there. Right. So that was round one. So we move on to round two. Okay. These disappear. We get rid of all of those. So those go face up in a discard pile. Yeah. And we get five new missions. Are we allowed to search the discard pile? I would have thought so, yeah. Okay. What? Well, I've got a couple. Oh, what's wrong I've with got that a question? Thing that allows me to. I thought that's quite a good question, actually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you see, that had a lot of Steffenfeld. Some you can, some you can't. Some games you okay. can't. Yeah, so let's see, what, uh, let's see what's come out and let's see if there's anything, anything new. Is there anything there that we need to know what it does? There's that one. Let me just have a look at what that one does. That is move one of your quipus on your mask board to your reserve space. Okay, so it's clearing up a slot, putting it on your reserve space. Right, any more of those that you need to know what they do? What's this here? That's that one. That's moving one of your quipus to your reserve space. Oh, okay. Take an offering. Move uh, number two. Uh, basically, move along a stone path mm. that is two or, or less. Nice. Take a god card. Take a god card. What's the next one along? Uh, activate one of your circular tiles as if you had placed a die with three pips. This one? Yeah. What was that, sorry? Activate one? Activate one of your circular tiles. Circular tiles. Which is the thing that you did. Right. So if you had two of those in phase two, you could activate any of them. What does that mean? You could flip them without the feathers? You still need the feathers. But he's uh, flipping them without uh, I taking the action to do so. Okay. 
Right, round right. two. Okay. Off we go. See if I get any better dice this time. Oh, yeah. Oh dear. Two, four, six. <laughs> oh dear for us. <laughs> right, Gemma, you're first. Um, how how do you, what's the best way to get food? Um, is it just these tiles over here? I think the way I got mine is I took a farming tile yeah. and then I slid it down. Yeah. As for other ways of getting food, you get one food on a fire test and then there are some tiles which have the ability yeah. to get food on them. Okay. I do not see how I'm going to do one of these missions this turn. <laughs> At least on round one, I had a starting mission, but now these are quite tricky. Are you going to go with a one <laughs> and block a space no, off? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm <coughs> going to go um, for a three. Okay, so you can take a farming tile of one, two or three. I'd like to take the... Um, what, what does this one mean? It means I could take the three... Orange yes. one. Yeah, or up to three. Up to three. Yeah, I'll take um, that one. No, the next one. next one down, please. Number two. What? Oh. And then I lay it there. Purple? Is that? Could I use that one? Uh, that's in phase two. Okay. So that's in phase two. You can use two different tiles. Oh. Oh, hang on. Ooh, I've just spotted something. Can you pop that one on the far one for me, Jack? You're moving again? Yeah, please. Can I go to this one here, number two there? So can I give you that one? You can give me that one. Oh, okay. You get a purple feather. That one. Right, I'm just going to check this card does what I think it does, because this is going to save me. It's going to save my bacon. Yes, it is. Right, excellent. So I'm going to go, no, ah, it doesn't work. No, it does. Yeah, it does. I'm going to go here with the two, which I'm allowed to do. Yeah. I can't take the two because it's gone, so I'll take the one. Okay. But then I am going to use my offering mm -hmm. to play this card. Okay. Which to allow me to take number. another tile from the discard pile. Could I have the blue discard pile? Yeah. Because that gives me my three different blue things. Oh, um, oh, you've gone on there with that, which means I can't. You can't move this round then, can you? Unless you've got a card that lets you do it. Oh. You can go off some people. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's going to be that one. Now, I do have a rules question, which I didn't see in the rule book. So I'm going to ask this question in the hope that Ulrich, who is watching us play, can answer it. I have a farming tile whose ability is to take a study tile. So in phase two, when I use that ability to take a study tile, mm. can I then use that study tile in phase two? That's my question. I wouldn't have thought so. I would have thought you could. You would have done. I would have thought you could. That seems very generous. Because I currently don't have a study tile. Yeah. So well, do you use both the do you use them simultaneously or one then the we'll, other? We'll find out. Well yeah. Ulrich says yes. So right. yeah, you can. So there you go. That's that's a good that will definitely need to be in the rule book. But you need to get another one of yours out though. I need to have space for it, yes. Which okay. means I need to move, which I can. No, you can't. Oh no, I can't. You haven't got a low enough dice. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about that and that's why I wasn't doing it. Don't forget you spent you. God card and a offering. If you're Done that. Putting it back. I'll just have that instead. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely doing it because I've now got three different blue ones. Yeah. I'd been through that thought process yeah. and then messed it up. No, I mean, I could have done, I could have used that ability mm. to move to there. No, I am going to do it. What? That's all right. We're all good. No, <laughs> it's fine because I can't. I can't then do diff two different abilities. Right? Okay. My, okay. I think I'm done. Is it? Who's My <laughs> okay. Sorry, I just okay. took ages. I can go there because it's level. You can. Aren't I? 
And I can only move to there. You can. And I put one of those there. And, I and you get two. Uh, you get one orange, orange feather. feather. Yeah. Which I'm going to put. And then if you just want to change your mind, undo it three times like I did. Yeah. Right. That's a nice, quick, <laughs> quick easy turn that, Gemma. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to spend my six. And I'm going to go that one there, please. This one? No, no, the one. This either. one? Yeah. And I'm going to do this one. Right, okay. Um, yeah, but this... So it's another ten points because you're doing it in rounds... Yeah. One and two, plus another three. So four, so what? 13 points. Oh, okay. So 13 and 14 is 27. So I then flip this and I do a fire test. And you do a fire test. Right? So I want, and I don't even care what it is, that one, because right. it's my mission for later. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I will have one study point. One study point. So am I, I'm not the first player now. That, oh, can I, you can't achieve more than one mission in one go there. Can Correct. Because I can achieve two right now. No, okay. There. Well done. <laughs> Easy. Right. Oh, no, the feather stay. I have the feather stay. So. So, yeah, so I can't move. I could go on there. I think I'm going to. I'm going to go on there with a four, which is fine, because that's what I need to flip this over. I get 13 points. Could I have 13 points, please, Nick? Yeah. And I get to do a fire test. And, oh, I could take that, and then I could move. Hmm. Need food. Desperately need food. So no, I am going to take that good card. And I'm going to take... I'm going to take one food. But yeah, food and study points just seem really hard to get. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. That was it. No, but one more dice each, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that was your that, that was it for my sorry. Time. I am going to go here. So you've got one pip to spend. So I'm going either to that or that. Um, slide that there. this one. And you get three food. There you go. After just saying how hard food was to get, that's how you get it. Okay. Remind me what this one here does again. Not that I want to spend it. You can place dice breaking the normal rules. Okay. Ah, yeah. That just worked out. Um, I will put that one there. Mm -hmm. And I want to spend this god card here. That's when you activate them in phase two. Oh, is it? Not when you're taking them. Oh, I see. Okay. And I will take this one here. Yep. Which will get there. Right. So I'm going to use an offering to play this god card to oh. allow me to place <laughs> my die anywhere. No, change your plan. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Because what I was going to do is spend two pips and slide these two down and get seven food. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put the six on there. Get the top step of the temple. And do a fire test. And the fire test is to take this card and also to gain one food. Right. I think we're all done. Okay. So phase one done. So phase two, you get to use one of your farming tiles and one of your study <coughs> tiles. Um, so I'll get yeah, two, points. two points. And I will take... Um, take a study tile of up to, up to pit or... number three. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know which one I want. Um, I think I'll go for uh, number three. Um, mm -hmm. Generate study points. Yeah. There you go. Okay, go. so that's that done. Nick? Um, I would spend this card here then. Yep. So, so with an offering. Both of these yeah. two. So I spend my offering and I'd like an orange feather, please. Um, and a god card. 
Uh, can I just have a look at mm-hmm. that one? Okay. Um, I like the look of this one here. This was you can put down an imaginary extra one of value one. Yes. It? Okay. I like that. I that one. So I don't have a study tile, but I do have. Oh. Um. I could do that, and I could. Oh. Oh, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to activate the ability of that tile. I'm going to move to here. I'll put that on top. Take an orange feather. Right. And don't forget, you can use these medals, because I've been forgetting this, to do the effect of any of those. Oh, okay. I have forgotten that. I forgot that as well. I did mention it twice, but then I forgot myself. Because that's how you can get out of a hole as well. Yeah. So, um, is, we, is there an orange and a purple next to each other on any of these links? There. Okay. Cool. You did activate an orange and a blue, didn't you? Yeah, you got I two did, points yeah. for that. Yeah. So, phase two done. So, phase three is. First of all, the study track. So yellow, Nick, you get one point yeah. and you are now the first player. Ooh, exciting. So that swaps with that. Now we move on to the temple. So me and Gemma both have one priest in the temple. We both get one point mm-hmm. for having one priest in the temple. Got it? Um, but then I get the medal. Thank you. Then we move on to the market. So first player is Nick. Still you, not still, no, not got any food. Gemma, you're next. I'm gonna spend my three um, <clears> to get. You're gonna buy um, this, so you get five points. Um, and I've got two food. I'm gonna spend one of it to buy <clears throat> this bowl of soup. How many points? One point. Missions, right? Which of your two missions that you can do? I'll do the easy one. I think. The easy one. So six points. Or do I? Hang on. Mm. Is. I get to choose this one here first, don't I? Yeah. Sorry. Um, is it clear what all of these are? What's that three god cards one? Three of the same god card. Oh. Now, is that three of the same god or three of the exact same god card? Let me just have a look, see what the addendum says. Number 23. Mission number 23. You must have at least three god cards of the same colour. Okay. So it doesn't matter what the ability is of the card, they just need to be the same colour. Right. So um, on the top line, the two um, would be two of these. Two medals. And the next one along the three, three. different goods. Different goods. And that's these ones. Yeah. So thinking out loud here, I could keep that one because it's easy peasy to achieve, potentially. Potentially. I could get rid of that one, grab me another one of those next round, and then achieve that one. Yeah. That seems quite good. So okay. if I... Move that one to... Six there. points? Yeah. There. Okay. I'm Which of those to... missions would you like to the... take? I'll take this one, please. Right. Derek, you're next. Which mission um, so can I'm you complete spend any? spend this one. Oh, you're using it, yeah. So that I can do it with one can, less. Yeah, complete a mission requiring one, I only get one four fewer thing. Correct. Um, and I think I'm going to go for this one, so I only have one. You only have one of them, yep. Yeah. So, so you get four points, yeah. but the mission counts as done, and you spent an offering to do that. Spent an offering, yeah. Um, which which of these missions would um, you like? Can I have the t- uh, the top middle? The one you've already done? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I've got three different farming tiles. I'm not doing so well for feathers, though. So I get six points, and I'm going to take the one that needs four farming tiles. Right. We're all done. So clean up. So that moves to there. These two disappear. Uh, these disappear. We need to clear the farming and the study tiles. I might have. I put that. I meant to put that one there. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Enough. Could you clear the farming? Oh, sorry. Tiles? Yeah, That's yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. And done that. Done that. Done that. Yeah, so I think that's how you generate a lot of food and 
study points is by getting these tiles on here mm. and then going here and activating mm. or sliding multiple ones down at the same time. Who's going first? Nick's going first. Yeah. All right. It's a shame that these player boards don't have a space for the dice on them. There is oh, a lot like of stuff a, on here. A little three, like little bits, yeah. But it would be nice if there was... I mean, there was kind of a bit on the side. Might put it on there. There you go. What have we got? Three, five, six, one, three, three, two, four, five. What do you want to do? I don't know. Completing all nine missions by the end of the game. I think that's a real challenge. I think with a lot of them, actually, the first round is really important, isn't mm -hmm. it? Because otherwise you... You, you can't... If you don't get a food, you can't buy a good. Yeah. Which... Yeah, I mean, this is... I think this is one of those games you're definitely not going to be able to do everything. No. Oh, no. No. <laughs> it's just, what can you do? Okay. Um... So Ulrich has said, yes, the, the ears is where you put the dice. Yeah. So there we go. Okay, I'm going to pop three on the end one, please. He's moving again. Spend an offering. Yeah. And I'm going to use this one to zap me across the board. Where are you going to go to? Here, please. All the way over here? Yeah. And I'll take a purple feather. And a purple feather. Does that where we all have to go? Thank you. Discard pile. I'm going to turn the discard pile sideways just so we know it's a discard pile. Yeah. Just remember, you can't lay... Your six or exits, not lower than the three. That's okay, because I don't need to. You do can. That. I can. Yeah. Uh, do we need to put one of your quipus on here? Oh, yes. And you need one of those to be able to use your god cards. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is probably the right point in the playthrough to explain what these quipu tokens are, because I found this quite interesting. Um, except I've closed the file accidentally. <laughs> Uh, they are basically the way that they shared information by putting knots in ropes. Yeah. So oh, right, that, okay. that's what it represents. The okay. fact that you've gone there, you can just about see it on here. Yeah. It's a load of different coloured like, ropes. Yeah. I put that on there to go there. <laughs> so. Actually, sorry, I'm going to replace that through the six. You're going to go with there with the six? Yeah, there is a lot of it. Okay. Uh, Gemma, your second. I'm going to go there with three mm -hmm. and move to there and put that one down there and get a orange, orange feather. feather. Right. What have we got up here? Oh, yeah, sorry, I made a right mess of that. <laughs> um, okay, because now I kind of want one's the same now. I mean, there is one. I could do that. I told you to do that. Um... Yeah, let's let's take this one. So now that I've to the same, when I activate that ability in phase two, I get to use both of them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's my good one. My simple turn. Um, can you put that five? You know where it's going to go on that one there, please. I'll do it again. So this time we are in round three, so you get seven points plus, plus the four, so you get 11 points. Five. So that one flips. That one and flips. I get to do and you get to do a fire test. Fire test. Um, I will take a... I really need an offering. Yeah. I also really need... You need a third blue god card, don't you? I really... I'll do that. Yeah. Um, and then I will take, and I'm the first player, so I will, what, what, what was this one here with the points at the end, if you have how many? Six. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, I'll just move one up here. Right. I'm going to go, where am I? Hmm. Should have put that there, shouldn't I? So I could move, but only with the two. 
Now, where would that get me? There or back here? Hmm, it's not ideal, is it? What's my other options? That would kind of work. What have we got here? That's no good. That's no good. That's good. Yes, we're going here with a five. So I've got five pips to spend. I'm going to spend three of them to slide that down, that down, and that down, and get 11 food. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Party at Paul's house. No. I've still got two pips left, and I'm going to use those two pips. So what are your options? An offering, a god card, a feather, or...? Unlock one of those. Okay. Cool. I went ahead of Gemma. Sorry. What? <laughs> was, was you going to use that action? I will undo what I just did if you wanted to go here. Okay. You got any god cards you could spend, if that makes any difference? Not got any offerings. Oh. Oh, goodness, I don't know what to do. Oh, I know what would be a good move. There's a movement you. available if you wanted it. Oh, I didn't see these lines. Yeah, there's right. movement around the outside. Oh, I didn't see that. If that is of any use. Mm -hmm. You could put an extra one on here. Yeah, yeah. I, I was contemplating that. Um... I remember you can use the medals to do any of these. Mm. That one's one we've not seen before. So this is in phase one. When you're doing this action, mm. before you do this action, you, you move two, back two of them back up. Oh, like okay. Sorry, I'm... Um... Got the AP. Yeah. It's caught you, isn't it? Well, there's a lot of options. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, um, I'm going to go here and okay. take the number one take blue one. blue card, please. Literally, was my next move. I'm so okay. sorry. You've done that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I get the three food me. Oh, only when you slide them down. Only when I slide down. Right. Thanks for that. <laughs> um. So I can't, I can't go there at no, all. Unless you use a special ability. None of these will let me, will they? Mm, no. No, okay, I've got a better idea. Can you put me on the priest one, please? Yep. And I will spend my medal, which I presume goes back on top of that part. No, medal goes out. Goes out of the yeah. game. So what, there's a finite number of medals? There's one for each round of the game. Oh, okay. So oh, right, I see. So that one goes. Why are you spending your medal? So I'm going to use... Oh, well, oh right, so okay. I get to put down a three. So that which discards my dice this. And a one. Yeah? Yeah. That's right, isn't it? Oh, I see what you've done. You like that, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Priest in the temple in rounds three and four are worth two points each. Exactly. Um, so you so you place the th the priest on the three with with my three yeah and then you use the medal, the medal. to use this ability yeah. to place a virtual one there yeah to place another I mean that one could have been anywhere. But you wanted it there so that you get the medal back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, that's cool. But then I get to do a fire test. Why? You, you get, to, you get to do two fire tests. Do I? Because you've done this action twice. That's twice as exciting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Test out fire. Yes, it's still hot. <laughs> it's a real sod. I can't use these because I need it for... You need it for that. For that one there. Um... Take two you don't get any points for gold cards in the game, do you? No. So, but presumably, once you've done that mission, you can then spend those cards. Yeah. So, two food, two offerings, good. Two food, or They'll buy me three points here. Mm -hmm. I'll have two food, please. Thank you very much. Thanks. Two. Hold on. No, no, I was just thinking that's no, that worked out quite yeah, well, did. actually. Yeah. I go here. Uh, can I have the? The second one. Sorry, that the one. second for um, study tile. That one. Yeah. There you go. And go. How many points um, do you get for having the most in that? Uh, so in round three, you get two points per priest, and whoever's got the most gets the medal. 
And is there points for getting the medal as no. well? Well, it's worth two points at the end of the game. But you can't go in there. What? They're both threes, you see. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see. I see now. That's the game. I'm going to go here. Yep, so you've got three pips so to three spend. Pips, so I'm going to you could just slide three things down. I only have two things to slide down. Okay. And um, so I will take four. Four up three points. One, two, three, four. And a three. Three food. food. And then you've got one pip left, which, so is, take, um, which is just a point. point. Right. I think I went out of sequence again. Sorry. Paul. Oh, <laughs> I'm so used to going clockwise. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> it didn't happen. You still wanted to do that? Yes. Right, okay. So then I go there, then I take that, Excellent. then we're all done. Right. Goodness. Phase two. Okay. You get to activate one study ability and one farming ability. So I can either take a god card or take a feather. Mm, you do like your feathers. I do, I do but I'm thinking... 12 I points need... for a full set of feathers. Yeah, but I'm starting to run out of steam a little bit. I'll take an, or an orange one, please, if I may. Thank you very much. Okay. Gemma, as the second player, not me, <laughs> you get to activate one of your farming tiles and one of your study tiles. So I'll, by activating... Um... I can either get two points or go up one. Yeah, and going up one is effectively two, two points. points. So it's exactly the same. Yes. You might as well have the two points. Yeah. And then I will... Um, well, I can't take a three card because I don't have space. Uh -huh. So I will take... Take an points. offering. Right. Well, I have one study tile and only one study tile. So I will use that one to move to here. Fall over. Because mm -hmm. um, it has to be along the rope bridge of value two or one. I do a fire test. Um, I will take um, offering, and I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna take study point. <laughs> That's that. And now the blue tiles. I'm going to activate that ability, and because I've got two of them, yeah, it doubles up, and I get four points. Cool. One, two, three, four. Right. We're going to phase three. So first of all, the study track. Gemma, you get two points. Me and Nick get one point. Turn order is reset. So I am now second. We now move to the temple. So red gets two points. Blue gets two points. Yellow gets four points. Yellow gets the medal. Yes. We now go to the market. So I'm first. So you are first. I'm going to spend my three for that nine. Um... What? That's five. Oh, I read that wrong. Yeah. Okay, I'll spend the two for three points. Two for three points. That's disappointing. <laughs> three points. Uh, right. I, however, I'm spending five. And I'm going to make an offering to make it worth double. So I get 18 points. Thank you. Uh, so one, two, three, 15. 55, yeah. Nice. Uh, Nick, would you like to buy some soup? Don't want to buy one for one point. It's, food is not worth anything. I would definitely so, will. So there you go. Have a point. Thank you very much. Right, missions. Gemma. Yeah, I've completed this one too. Okay, um, so six three. points. And you grab a new mission. Any of those need um, any explanation? Um, that presumably is three slid down. Three three slid down. Orange ones. Three slid down orange ones. Yep. That's for being having quipu tokens in the three blue feather. Mm -hmm. okay, what's the two times? What's that? Uh, that's for having that one that I just bought, the oh, big one. The big one. Okay. Yeah. I'll take the three slid down orange tiles, please. Right. I'm next. I've got four blue farming tiles. I've completed that and get six points. And oh. Hmm. Tricky. I mean I guess. Three pink feathers is probably the easiest for me to do. I 
Um, I'll get rid of this one here that lets me do three of the same type of god card. So I will also have six points. Paul, if you'd be so kind. That's a 57. Um, and what's this? Is that? That's not two food time. That, that seems far too It's easy. two of these ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, of which, in a three play game, there's only three of them in the game, I think. Yeah, okay. And what's that top right one? It's three. B uh, have Quipu tokens in the three blue feather locations, which is here, here. Mm. Um, well, in that case, <laughs> I'm going to take this yeah. one here, please. Okay. So there is one rule that I did forget to explain, uh, and that is whenever you have moved back to the centre, mm -hmm. whenever you now move away, you can rotate this. So I'd completely forgotten that rule. Oh. Ulrich just reminded me of that. So any way you want. I think any way you want. Right, okay. Um, Didn't Isn't this the second time you've been back to the centre as well? No. No? No, okay. I, think, I think it's just the first time. Uh, I do remember reading it in the rules, but I completely... Uh, Completely forgot about that. Let me just have a look, see what the rule book says. Uh, movement. If your Chasqui returns to Cusco at any time later during the game, you don't place a Equipu there, you take the fire test, and then the next time before you move, you may rotate the overlay however you want to. <coughs> so that's once you've gone back to the center. So it does make going back to the center a little bit more valuable. Okay. We're all done with the end of round three, I believe. So. All of those tiles clear. Yeah. That clears. We move on to round four. Those clear. We get five new missions. If there's any question about any of the missions, let me know. Nobody's been knocked out of the temple yet at all, have they? Not yet. Not yet. Do they all slide down it? One yeah. goes higher. Well, they slide down. So if somebody goes on here with a three, that one will slide down to the two. Yeah. But that's and if it. I went to the six, these two. Would Those two would slide down. Yeah. Okay, on okay, um, first layer, I'm going to. You're first layer. Moving. moving. I'm going to move across the outside. Yep. Yeah. So you go here, you get a purple feather. And I go on top. And you put that on top of this. Scuppered, I think the technical phrase is. Mm. And I can put my purple feather there. Yep. Yeah. I'm second. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm looking at the tiles. I don't have any space. And I need another pink feather. But we need space on here. I need to clear these off. Which means I need to move. And I can move, but I can only move with a one. So I'm going to move with a one. And I'm now going to use that rule to move, to rotate this. Aha! This works. I'm going to rotate it there. I'm going to go here. I'm going to put that on there. And I get the pink feather, which gets me my three pink feathers that I need for that mission. Awesome. I was in 12 points. You, yeah. Not that awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um. How how do I go on that end one that you guys are on with that card? How does that work? You just pay an offering and you can go there with a die of any value. Right. The die you place can be greater than or equal to the right, okay. die that's already there. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can. I, in that case, I will... I will spend my, I don't know, yes, I will spend my three and an offering in that card. It's so just, three with an offering to that yeah. god. Yep. And, and I'm going to move, move along there with my three. Yep. And pop on there. Right on your feather. Right, back to you, Gemma. Let's have a look at my, okay. Right. I'm going to do this one that I couldn't do last time, but I can. There you go. Yep. So, so it's round four, so you get seven points plus three, you get ten points. And then I get to do a fire. And you get to do a fire test. So I'm going to 
Um, remind me what this one is. You can put it anywhere. Yeah, when you move, you can go from one village to another village. I'm going to pick that one. And then um, could I... Food or study? Um, uh, study, please. Study I'd point like for red. Study. There you go. Right. Me next. I'm going to go... Tempted. I'm going to go here with a five, and I'd like to take the five, please. Because that ability matches that ability. Okay, done. Mm. <laughs> I wanted to go there with my six and do that one. Which I think then means I'm not going to be able to flip them all this game, am I? You might. You can do this action multiple times. Oh, I don't know. That seems pretty tough. It and does. I, I need more feathers as well. Yeah. Well, you could go here with a six. You can buy feathers for two pips. I could buy three feathers, couldn't you? Could you could go there and buy three feathers if you wanted to. Okay, well, that's interesting. How many points does that... It's only six points, though. That's not a lot, really, is it? No, but I think the feathers mm. allow you to flip the circlet one. So if, you go, if you're going with the feathers, you probably want to go with the circlet one things as well. Because one leads into the other. Yeah. Yeah, and there is this farming tile, and the ability of that tile allows you to flip a circlet tile. Right. Okay. Um, well, I've got a six and a five. Mm, big numbers. They are big numbers. Okay, well, that makes it a bit more interesting. Okay, I think think I've got really big numbers there that's the problem <laughs> um go in the temple again well we're on round four so priests are still worth two points right in round three sorry in round five and six the priests are worth three points each okay and how many more rounds have we got sorry this is round four of six right Okay, I will spend my five then to go there. Yep. And I think... And take a one. <laughs> yeah. I did have a cracking move planned, but it's all all up in the air. Right, Jeremy, your last die. Um, I'm going to go here and take the number one. Take the number one. Yep. The orange ones. So I can't go there, I can't go there, I can go there, I can go there. Do we temple it up again? I think I like the idea of this. That means I can't go there then, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, okay. It's not why I did it. <laughs> right, what am I going to spend my six pips on? I'm definitely sliding that down for one, which is three study points. I'm going to take a god card with two. We've got two points left. And I think I'm going to take a feather. Right, done. Uh, I'm going to go that. Yeah, I thought you might. So he goes so there. He so goes these top, two that slide bumps down. that one down. That bumps that one down. That goes in. You get to do a fire test. Yeah. So I will take. Should call it a test of fire, really, rather than a fire test, because that sounds like a. Fire drill, you know, 11 o'clock on a Friday. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> what, does, what does this card do? Can so this is the one that Gemma had right at the start. It allows you to, in phase three or at the end of the game, yeah. complete a mission requiring one fewer thing, Yeah. but you only get four points for completing the mission instead of six. But it still counts as completed. Right, okay. I think I will take it. Um, yes. Um, and also... If I spent that card, I get three food and three... So that's instead of all of the normal rewards for the fire test. All of the, the rewards. Yeah, instead of instead of that, you yeah. get three food and three study points. So instead of taking the card? Yeah. In, instead of that and that, mm. it replaces all of that with three study and three food. 
Uh, I thought it would be in addition to that. No. Right. Not that good a card, really, is it? Well, I, I don't know. What? Three study and three food is quite nice. Let's Turn that back. Let's do it. So yeah. that one. So you spend that with an offering. Yeah. You get three food. So thank you. And three study, which puts you top on top. The, top of the tree. Right. So one, two, three. Phase two. Gemma. Get a farming ability and a study ability. Well, I wouldn't be able to do that with I could not have space. No. And the study point is not going to get you anything. <coughs> I'll take two points. So two points. And three food. Uh, uh, on, it can be either, can't it? No, it's that. Mm. That's the ability. Oh, so that's not so two points then. That, that is two points. The ability is on... The ability is on the right-hand side of the study tiles and the left-hand side of the farming tiles. Oh. So for you, it's that, which you can't do because you haven't got space, or that. Um, so you get an offering. Yeah. Right, I'm going to activate that study tile, which gets me both of those, so I get to move to a position with four. Yeah, sure. Which puts that on there. Now, that gets me a pink feather. I can't have it, so I just don't get it. But that's the study tile done. And in terms of the farming tile... I'm going to get four points. Nick, one farming tile and one study tile. Uh, I will take a turquoise teal feather mm -hmm. for that one, and I can't do the other one because I don't have I don't have enough feathers to to flip it, do I? Right. So I'll just ignore that one. Okay. Right. Phase three. Over we go. So turn order. Yeah. Is. That and points was what was the points? Oh, uh, I, I think, think it's four, four, and one. What was it? Or oh, two, two, and one. Two, two, and one. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Temple. This is round four, isn't it? Yes. So I get two points. Nick, you get six points. Jeremy, you get two points. Nick gets the medal. Oy. And we go to the market. So in turn order. And um, so I've. Got what would you like to buy? One, two, would you three, like a bowl of soup? four. I've got. So I guess one of those. Yeah, please. Seven points. Um, I'm next. Now I'm kind of saving up for the big one. So three, four, five, six, seven. Um, am I going to get some more food next turn? That's the question. I think I am. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna spend three food for five points. I'll spend one for one. More for some soup. Okay, missions. Nick, um, I'm going to achieve my early mission. <laughs> you are first, yeah. and you have a study tile. Yeah. So, six points. Please. 78. And you get a new mission. Um, what's that one with the orange feathers there? Uh, be in the four. three oh, yeah, I remember, yeah. things with the orange feathers. Um, am I? Am I? No, because there's one. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. You're in... No, you're not in that one either. Yeah. You're in you're in one of them. That's quite good for you. I was gonna say, yeah, I'll have that one, please. Oh, in fact that one. Yeah, but um it might not things can change quickly in this game. Yeah. When Gem is playing. And I'm about to get slid off the bottom. Right. I have three pink feathers. So I get six points. And so what's that? Oh, five Quipu tokens in villages that need different feathers. That's, yeah, that's what I'd assume. And that's three Quipu tokens in villages that are worth three points. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, I'm in, I'm in pink, I'm in orange, I'm in pink, and I'm in pink. <laughs> Brilliant. Where's the ones worth three? There, there. I think they're quite tricky. I think they're all a bit tricky. I was going to try and do the nine missions in this game, but it's going to be difficult, isn't it? 
And you, so how many have you achieved so far then? Four. I, I've done all of my missions so far. So that's four. And I'm on track for doing that one as well. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to take that one. Okay. Yeah. Go. Um, I can achieve this one, which is three, three different orange, orange tiles. Different. Six points. None of those looking good for me. Mm. So um, I'm going to take the three priests. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Yeah, I was tempted. Right, off we go then. Round five. So we clear up. So we get rid of all of those tiles. Yeah. Have some more missions. Mr. Fell back. Get rid of that. Roll some dice. Round five of six. If any of these ever runs out, then we go through the discard pile, find all of the gods of that type, shuffle it, and make a new stack. Yep. I want high numbers. High numbers, gentlemen. <clears throat> there you okay. go. Wow. Sort of what I wanted. Okay, I'm start playing, aren't I? You are start playing. I will. Oh, five different VP, that one is. What's that? That one that I took. Yeah, not five different coloured feathers. Five different victory point values. Yeah, isn't that what we... Oh, right, yeah. I yeah. said it was five yeah. different feathers, but it's not. So I'm in a two, two, five, and a three. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay. Um, I will go on the one for this one here, please, Paul. Headdress? Yes, please. So I that's a six. And it's four points flipping it now, so that's nine Plus points. Five, so nine. And you do a fire test. Yeah, so 78 and nine is uh, 87. 87. And I get to do a fire test, and I look every time. <laughs> um, I will take an offering. And... I'll move up that one by one. Done. Okay. Um, so many things I want to do. I think... Yes, Gemma, yeah. what have I done? Yeah. I think I'm going to move with a six. And I'm going to move to here. And I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to take that and put it there. I think. Because I'm now in a one, a three, a five, and a two. Yeah. Okay. What else is left? Oh, four. I'm not in a four. Um, I'm going to do a four, five move. Five movement. But I'm going to spend... An offering? Card. Yep. Where do you want to go? I want to go here. Okay. So you get a pink feather. Get yep. Uh, that card. That card good. is gone. Back to you, Nick. Um, okay. Should have gone there. That's where I should have gone. Okay. So I will put, please, that one on the far end. On movement. And I will go here. Yep. And put that one there. Oops. And get a blue feather. Uh, yeah. Blue, blue, green, blue. Teal. Boys. Teal. Teal. I think I might be using a medal to do one of these. Although, a medal's worth two points. I really need to teleport somewhere as well. And that's not happening. <coughs> So, what have we got over there? Uh, we do have... Okay, so, can I just have a look at this discard pile? I guess there's six of each tile left. So I guess, I guess there's just enough. Yeah, the one that I want is not in there. Um, well, I've done a mission this turn. That's the main thing. 
think we're just going to go on here. And I'm going to take this one. Okay. I think. Yeah. When it comes to phase two, which is using these, mm -hmm. it's one then the other, isn't it? They're not simultaneously we worked out. Mm -hmm. And we'll get to do it twice more, won't we? Because we've got the end of this once round. Once this round and once next round, yeah. Okay. We can go in the temple. Okay. So you're putting it on the five, which knocks all of them down one. And we get to do a test of fire. So I'll <coughs> hand take a look. Yep. Um, gold card. And I will take um, a food. Food. Mm, actually, will I? Because I don't think I'll be able to buy anything. Okay, question. It's all expensive this time. Yeah, yep. if next time I was to go to the um, place the temple again with a three, yep. do I push myself yes. down? Yeah, so so what would happen is that all of those three would move down one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what Gemma might be doing next. Well, yeah, because I could go there with my You could four, go there with a four. But I'd push myself <coughs> off. Yeah. And then and the three would push the your position. second one off. Yeah. So you'd end up losing two priests. Is that what you want to do, Gemma? Is that? I think so. It's a learning game. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got this. I keep forgetting I've got this. And I keep forgetting that I have all of these as well, if I want to. Okay. I think I've got quite a good move and I'm okay. planning for the future a little bit. So I'm going to spend an offering yep. and this one here, yep. which will let me do that effectively as a four and a one. Well, do the four first. Yeah. So I will go for that one. Mm -hmm. And then the one can be any action. On that space? No, no, no. Any, any action. Can it? Yeah. I thought it was you place one and do the same action no. on the same space. No, no, no. You did that last time and I said it doesn't have to be the same did one. Did you? Oh. Yeah. It says in the addendum, um, after your turn, yeah. you have another turn as if you would place a die with a one pip. So right. literally a completely second turn. Yeah. So what can I do? Well, I could knock myself off of it, yeah. couldn't I? Uh, I can't move, can't do that. Well, I do have a plan, so I am going so to- So you are going to do the same that thing action again. Yeah, okay. Right, my last die. Is a one. So I can't go there, can't go there. Why did I take that one with that one? Oh, that was a silly move, wasn't it? Fool of a took. <laughs> um, can't go here because of that. I could go here, but that's rubbish. I could just go here and get two points. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. What? Uh, Oh, sorry, you've got a five. I thought you had a one. No, in your hand. I had one. Oh, I just had a thought, but it's not no, very nice to Gemma. No, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, Paul, to go there so that what, I to the temple. Go there. Oh, so that you can't go to the temple. Oh, so of you course. then knock me off. Because I was thinking, there's no point going here because you're going to then go there. But you get loads of points for it because it's, it's three points each. So you get. No, I don't, I'm going to do this. And do I want to do that? No, I don't. Right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to slide that down and I'm going to get three study points and I'm going to go one, two, three. And that's me done. Okay. And now Gemma can go to Oh, what a relief. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that all slides down. That goes back in. <laughs> and you get to do a test of fire. Um, I'm going to take a cock mm -hmm. And I'm going to take... Um, Another food? <clears throat> no, I'm not. No? I, okay. I'm going to take... Um, go up, up on the tracks on my head of Nick. <sighs> At the moment. For now. Right, phase two. So I activate one of your farming tiles and one of your... Right, have we got some combo going on here? See, this is what I always like about Stefan Felgen, because they always let you do really clever sort of combo. Un until we point out that it doesn't work. Well, yeah. magic. <laughs> but I need to get two more feathers yes. and flip these two. Yes. But the way I've got this combo is the game will do it for me. Okay. So I will push that... No, push it down. I will do that one with that card. Yep, yeah, so that flips over so that and you flips. get six points and a fire test. 
please. Yep. So six points on 87 is 93. And my fire test, I want... What does it that do? But I want that. that what does it do? We haven't done that one yet. This is a new one. Okay. This is in phase one, before placing your die, move any die on here somewhere else. Oh, right, okay. I will have that. That sounds lovely. Yeah, yours or somebody else's, just, just move it. Uh, reallocate any one die to another action space before you perform your turn. And I assume that means you can just get it out of the way. Yeah. Okay. And then this one gains me another feather that I need. So I will have a pink one if you could pass it over to me, please. Did you take the food or study point? No, I didn't. Um, <laughs> um, is there anything there I want? I will do that. I think Turner is really good yeah. in this game. After Gemma's been really mean to me here. So you're done with your abilities. Yeah. I'm going to combine these two together to move along a four. It goes to there, which gets me a purple feather and puts this on there. That's that. And then I've got. It's either four points or it's that. And that is actually six points. So we'll do that. Six points and a fire test. So six points but you want. Six points for me and a fire test, six. which is going to be going to be another offering. No, 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 no. It's going to be that god card. And it's going to be a food. Gemma. Before I have my go, can I just ask a question about the card Nick picked up? Yes. When you're moving the dice, yep. do you have to abide by the rules? I don't going believe to the so. Lower? No. Um, we can ask Ulrich, who's watching, he says, is to move another dice out of the way and or block other spaces. But yeah, could you move a six to where there's a one? Um, I'm going to take um, a take yellow. Study tile of up to three. Up to three, and can I take. Uh, I'm not sure which one I want. Um, I think I will take this one. Uh -huh. yes. This one here, sorry. Yes, please. And that just goes Am I the only person that's spent one of these so far in the game? I think so. And for my blue one, I'm going to do this one's. Um, which is an offering. Oh. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. One of those. Yeah. There you go. I have an offering. Right. So that's phase two done. All good? No, sorry. I was going to do that because I used I did the blue one last. Oh, right. So okay. I was going to do that one to go up on the turn order. Yep. So red goes up. Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> you always do this to me. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm right. miles behind. So phase three. <laughs> yes. Uh, the study track. So blue gets two points. Yellow and red get one point. Turn order changes. I am now first player. Last. That's no fun. There we go. Uh, now we go to the temple. So it's three points per priest. So I get six. Yeah. Paul gets three. Jeremy gets nine. Well, wow. and Jeremy gets middle. Thank you. Right, now we go to the market. I'm going to spend one, two, three, four, five food. And I'll have that for nine points. Put you on around 100. I assume the game is going to come with markers for when you get more than 100. Yeah. They, they weren't included in the prototype, but I'm pretty sure they will be. I can't buy anything, actually, can I? Because the lowest one is two. How many have you got? One. No. Nick? I haven't got any. Okay. Right, missions. So I have done, I am in the three villages that require pink feathers. One, two, three. Done. Six points. Oh, I should have been looking at these. <laughs> I totally should have been looking at these. Right, what have we got here? Yeah, I haven't got any of them. I haven't got any of them. Got one of them. I haven't got any of them. Oh, it's 
So what do they all do? So this is two two of those, I presume? Yeah, two of those either study tiles or farming tiles that have that ability on, yeah. of which you've got one, Yeah. I've got one, but I might not get a second one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two of those god cards, two of those particular good cards, tiles that you've bought, two study or, and or farming tiles that have that ability on, of which I have none. Does any? Gemma's got, got one. The one that increases your study points. Okay. Five uh, and that one is for having five food. Right. So that's the one I'm going to take. Okay. Even though I've currently got no food. <laughs> but I'll get some food. There are six tiles of every type in the game. There we go. So there's 36 tiles of each. Six different ones of each. 30, 36. Total. I'm going to complete this one um, with the three... Six points. Total. And I'm going to take the other bottom um, one, that one. Nick? Um, at the end of the game, you can complete all three, can't you? The three that you've got, you, you want to try and complete them, yeah. Mm, I will complete that one. Six so points. Six points. Goes there. And so it was. Right, we're all done. So oh, sorry, I need to take mine. Oh yeah. Uh, which do I gamble on coming out? I got to take mine. I mean, you can have a look if you want. What in here? Yeah, because we would know. All right, give me a tip. What were your, what were your other options? Well, you didn't have many other options really. Oh, you could have taken that one. Though. Did Gemma? Which one did Gemma take? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, there's one. Right. Okay. Are you I happy guess, with that? I guess I'll stick. With right. That one. So let's set up for the last round. Getting a bit tense now, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> They're quite quick flowing rounds, though. Aren't they, they are. Yeah. Am I going to get all of these out? <laughs> I don't think so. You got four. I got four left. But you've got. Don't forget, you've got the. Yeah, things yeah, yeah. I can. Go. I can be shimmying around. In between turns. Right, we've done that, we've done that. Have some dice back. Let's go into the last round of the game. Not feeling good in third place in the turn order there. <laughs> oh no, is that th three ones? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that has actually completely and utterly screwed my turn. Devastated you. Yeah, because I needed to bring... Yeah, that that's horrendous. Because I was going to slide up two food and I was going to use that to get eight food. So we have a bit of a problem. Well, you've got a bit of a problem. I, I, I've got a Me and Gemma are all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if Paul's going to obviously be blocking I, spaces. I, yeah, accidentally I'll be blocking spaces. Yeah. I've got that card, which helps, but... Have you two got any gold cards? Oh, you've got I mean, some over there. I've got this as well. I'm going to have to use this, but it's still not going to help. It's really not. Oh, I don't know how to get out of this. I mean, I'm so close. I've got five goods. All I need is one more good, and I've got, I've got six goods. At least I've accomplished... But don't forget that Something. you need to buy one more, but you've also taken the one that... Oh, I know. I, I, I probably won't do that mission now. Oh, I see. Okay. But weren't you going for the nine missions thing as well? I was going to try, but it's not. it was, wasn't going to happen. I'm only in one, two, three, four, five, six of these. So I needed mm. to be in three more of these. Okay. Right. What can I do? I've got a, I've got a thing here that allow me to complete... One of the missions, <laughs> but I need another offering. That will allow me, and I've got, oh, sorry, where was that? On there? I don't know, I didn't see. Or was it on there? It's think on it was top on of the seven. Yeah. That will effectively allow me to have an extra turn, thereby taking a one followed by another one. Okay. I'm going to place my one here. I'm going to go in the temple. And we're going to do a test of fire. Taking a food. And an offer. Uh, mm, mm, and an offering. Right, done. First action done. Oh. 
Um, I'm going to move. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to that. Yep. Put that on top, getting you a purple feather. Nick. Oh, sorry. Can I spend this one? You can. And yep. do this one. Yep. Now, which means I can put a one anywhere. A virtual one. Right? A virtual one. Um, of which so it I can't be put there. It on this blue one. Yep. So I'm going to take this. Like that. That's fine. Cool. I think you're going to like this. <laughs> I kind of quite like these sort of turns. I'm going to go here with my five. Oh, sorry, that was a five, that was. So you spend five pips. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. So I go two, five, nine, twelve spaces on this track here. Nice, yeah. Uh, and three foot. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's how you do it. And this at the end of the game will do me a fire test, guaranteed. Which could be the extra one. Which would be the extra one. Yeah. And there's your three food. Thank you. And that's your five pips spent. Yes. Right. So. What am I going to do with this one? It's all the wrong tiles and the wrong things. I think we're going to move. We're going to move to here, which puts that on there and gets me this, which goes there. Yep. So what am I in? I'm in a two, three, I'm in a one, a two, a three, a five. I'm still only in four different... That's fine. That's fine. Because I'm going to get that. Is it in or scoring them? It's got to be in. Yeah. I'm going to go here. Four yeah. pips. Four so pips. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. So up six on the um, knowledge or universe chart. Four, six. And four food. Four food. And then for my last one, I just get one point. And one point. Why right. did you take one point, sorry? For my last Oh, point. I didn't realise you could do that. Yeah, and your leftover pips can be worth a point. I'm... You just need one more feather, don't you? Which I will get. Right, yeah. And I will also do that one. Yeah. But I need nice. that one there. And I will also get a fire test, so I will be able to take that card, whatever it is, so I'm sorted for all three, when I go there. Very nice. And take that one. Mm-hmm. You don't need that one. Yeah, I do. Why? For that one, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, 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 sorry. <laughs> I was thinking for flipping a headdress, you can use that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. right, so my last, my last die. So I can't, I can't go here. I can't go here because I haven't got that. Oh. Is there some, there's got to be some shenanigans I can do with this. The Riz. Where am I? What I'm you, there. What are you no. looking at, Paul? What's going on? Well... What cards have you got? Nothing. You, have you got one that lets you move around? No. Is there one there that allows me to move around? No. Alas. You. I mean, I could use a medal to activate this to take things from the discard pile. But it's not going to help me. It's not going to help at all. Yeah, just needed one more purple feather and then I could have at least flipped that over. So I, I think my choices are very limited with this one. And in fact, that's not going to work either. So I, I, I have got the die. I have the, I can place the die. No, I think what I need to do, because I'm, I'm going to be going third, aren't I, in turn order. Because I'm, I'm, yeah, so I'm going to have to go here and slide that down for three food. So that I can guarantee. In fact, I'm not going to slide that down for three food. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spend an offering to slide two of my tiles back up and move that one down for four food. So I've actually got five food. You slid two up and then slid one back down, did you? Yeah. Sorry? Okay. 
Right, that's it. That's my done. My turn's done. Gosh. Um, I think I have very limited choice in what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to take two, two points. points. Right, Nick. I really Final wish... Final action of the game. I had an offering. <clears throat> um, your low rolls have really... I'll sell you mine for ten points. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering if selling any of these medals will do me any good. But I don't know that they will. What's this one here, sorry? Uh, we've not had that one yet. I don't think it makes... So that one is, uh, in phase two, you use the abilities of, you activate one tile, but you use its effect twice. You effectively count it as being two tiles. Yeah, I haven't got an offering, so it's no good for me. So I will, I'd love to go and knock Paul off of there. <laughs> if you've yeah. got that card, you can. I haven't got an offering. Then which one? The Should one that allows you to place a dice, oh. even if it's the same value. No. Can I go on that number two? Oh yes, that's the only, I think. This is the only space you can go on. I think it's the only actual space I can go. Two points. We'll have to be that for two points. Right, phase two. Me first. So I'm going to activate uh, that as my orange tiles, which allows me to move to there, (laughs) which puts that on top and gets me that. As the blue tiles, I could activate that one to flip that, which gets me four points and a fire test, or I could just take four points. So obviously we're going to flip that one. Okay. It gives you six points, doesn't it, flipping it? Uh, in round six, it's four points. Okay, and sorry, yeah. So four points and a fire test. And with the fire test, I'm going to take uh, doesn't really matter at this stage. So I'm going to take uh, that one and the food. You get any points for food at the end? No. Oh. But I need the uh, six food. Right. <clears throat> Gemma. Gemma. Um, so for my orange <clears throat> one, I'm going to go um, along... A- Stone path of value two. There. Yep. And put that one. Which on. gets you a and a blue feather. Blue feather. And then for your a blue one. <clears throat> just in case you wanted to, there's a combo here. You could have activated that one first to take that one. And then when you activate that one, because you've got two of them, you could move along a four instead of a oh. you probably wouldn't have, no, that, that was the right thing to do. But I'm just saying you can combo those things yeah. together. What's the point swing there? Is it three, so six. Yeah, and Gemma was already here, so there was no point moving there. Um, f- uh, for my blue one, I'm going to... Study point gets you two points. Yeah. I think that's the no, only thing, I think isn't I'm going to take one of these. Okay. Because then I potentially oh, you've got I can a thing. use yeah. that one. Okay. If needed. Presumably that is for either the one we complete at the end of the round or the three we can complete at the end of the game. Say again? Can we use Yes. The if you look at the icon in the top left, it says phase three, stroke, end okay. of game. Cool. You're okay. Happy with that. Um, okay, so I will take a pink one. And please. there you go. Your headdress is complete. Like magic. Suits you. <laughs> and then I'll I do use... expect you to come wearing a headdress of multicolored feathers next time you're here. Do you know what? So we we've been to Costco <laughs> and I showed Gemma we bought a t-shirt that said Inca Cola on it, which okay. is like a drink. It tastes exactly like Iron Brew. And I, right. I said, Gemma, maybe I'll wear it tonight. But, <laughs> but anyway, so I'll do that, and then I can use this one here to then flip, flip this that one. over to get four points. Four points and, and a fire, fire test, test a which very... presumably is yes, exactly that so and. I and an offering? I'm, no, I want that one because it completes this one here. Right. So a bit of comboing going on there. Right, that's phase two done. The final phase three. 15 points for yellow. So 113 goes to 128. Four points for red. Yes, 86. Turn order changes. Markers get reset. Okay. We go to the temple. Red gets nine points. 
So 86 goes to Blue gets six. Yellow gets three. Yeah. The medal goes to Gemma. To dear Gemma. We go to the market. Nick. So I've got three. So you might as well spend three yeah. for five points. Yeah, please. Gemma. I'll spend three for five points as well, please. And I spend one for one. Oh no, I didn't. Sorry. So that was your. Oh, I got one. Right. Missions. So we're now just doing the end of round mission. Yeah. Not the end of game missions. What's the difference? Sorry. You're just doing one of them, not three of them. So do you do one and pick another one. Yeah. And, and then, then at the end of the game, we'll do all three. Yeah. So. We, so sorry, I do one. You do one now and take a replacement. Have they been there the whole time? Yeah. yeah. Oh. And then at the end of the game, you then do your remaining three, if you can. Well, I think I can actually because I've got the feathers. So, okay. I mean, you can do all of them, so it doesn't actually matter. No. So, flip, pick which one of those, flip it over. That's your six points. Okay. And you're going to take the, the easy one. You're the one I think. The only one I think I can. Do. Okay. And then it's me. Yeah. Um, I, again, I can do all of them, so it doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter. Does it? Six points. Six points for Gemma. And can I take um the the five? Yeah, cool down five slid down ones. Yeah. Because you've done it, presumably. Yeah. Uh, right, I've got five food. One, two, three, four, five. So five food for that. Which is six points. And four different god cards. Oh, yes. <laughs> that, was a, that was a stroke of luck. Well, that one, yeah. Right, uh, and that's it. So we don't bother doing the reset in the last round, mm -hmm. yeah. but we now do end of game. Okay. So how many of your missions can you complete? All three. So you get 18 points. Yeah. Nice. And you just flip them all down and put them there. Gemma? All three again. All three. 18 points. Comes um, on to 24. Yeah. Right. Me. I think I've done this one. I'm in a one, a three, a five, a two, and a seven. Yeah. So five different victory point scoring mm -hmm. things. So that's six. Four different God cards. Yes, six. Nine. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> I thought I was miles off, <sighs> but actually I was very close. Oh, hang on. You got the one that lets you do one last. Hang on. Spend an offering, do the thing. Get Only need four, eight. We get four points. We get four though? points. Okay, wow. Very nice. <laughs> Lovely. Right, we're done. Final scoring. So, back of the player raid. Uh, Ulrich is saying, never throw something away when you fulfil a mission. So we were what? spending stuff. So I think we've been doing this slightly wrong. I, I was spending the food. You don't need to spend the food. Not that it matters, but the missions, so just as a clarification, the missions are just for having something. You don't actually need to spend it. I didn't think we had been anyway, had we? I, I just did. Oh, right, okay. I, I just spent five food, but you don't yeah. need to. So the yeah. mission's important clarification. You just need to have it. You don't need to spend it. Right, end of the game scoring. Mm -hmm. So first of all, medals. I've got two. So one, two, three, four. I've got two. One, two, three, four. I've got, got four. Oh, I think you had more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, here we go. Right, so first of all, we'll do Nick, we'll do yours. Your top of this, Yeah. top of this. So five points. Five points. Me, one, three, five, seven, 14. Not quite. No. No, 15. One plus three is four. What did I say? You said, you went one, three. Oh yeah, so, so. one, four, six, eight, 15. Yeah. Uh, one, two, is that right? <laughs> I can't count. Uh, Gemma, five, six, seven, ten. That's me. Two to forty-two. Were right. you on before forty-two or forty-three? <clears throat> Sorry. Me? You on for we we on forty-two or forty-three? I think we were on forty-three. Okay. I think. Okay. Right. Who's got all twelve feathers? I do. Six points. Who's flipped over all six circlet tiles? I do. Nine points. Right. Who's done nine missions? Have I actually done nine missions? I've done eight, I think. I've done all nine. One, two. I've done it. Three, 
So me and Gemma have done nine missions. Six, seven. Nine eight. points. Who's got all 10 of their Quipu tokens on here? No. Mm -hmm. uh, who's got 12? No. Mm -hmm. Who's got six goods? Eight. No, mm -hmm. you do. Five. Six. <coughs> That's it. I love that it tells you you get no points. Yeah, no points for I everything left. So we are done. <coughs> so congratulations, Nick, with 84. One Second place. So 184. 173, 151. Okay. For our first game... They good scores, would you say? I, I don't know whether they're good scores, but I think I think we did all right. Okay, you well. got some crazy combos off yeah, at the I end did, that yeah. all went really well together. Yeah. But yeah, there you go. So we're all we're all finished. And rules-wise, I think we got it mm -hmm. mostly okay. The couple of clarifications that we had were you don't spend things to complete missions. Yeah. There was another clarification as well about the pink card that allows you to place an extra die, this is after you've done your action. Right. So in other words, what you can't do is you can't say, I'm going to go on there with a one. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to save that one. Yeah. I'm going to take the action again, go on there with another one. Okay. I've now got two and spend the two. Yeah. You can't do that. You do the one, you finish the action. Yeah. Um, and yet it is it is a sec is a separate turn with a one that can go anywhere. It doesn't have to be the same, mm -hmm. have to be the same again. Obviously, the rulebook we were working to is still a work in progress, yeah. but we've come up with a lot of questions and clarifications, which I'm going to ask them to add into the uh, just about uh, about certain things in the game. The thing that I found the hardest to do was getting these. Uh, none of us managed to do it. No. We think we could have done it if we'd have concentrated a bit more on moving around. I think to get them out, you need to focus on these ones here that give you, they give you movement. extra movement. Because if you've got, say, two or three of these each that you can combo, you could go, say, one in your actual turn, then you could go two, three. Yeah. You could whip those out okay. in round three or four, maybe. Because when we when we started playing, when we were two rounds in, I didn't think we were going to do any of these. No, I didn't either. But then you did all of the headdresses and the circlets. Mm. Both me and you did all of our missions. And I didn't think I was going to do all of my missions. It was thankfully, what was it? That And you used this twice, didn't you, during yeah. the game? Yeah. I didn't end up using it on the last one. I didn't need oh, you didn't? You didn't need to. But even right at the end, where I needed to be in nine, mm. and I wasn't in nine, I was in eight, but I had this. That, that saved it. It takes a lot of focus to get all these done, though, doesn't it? Like, with, with the headrest and flipping these, it was really my main concentration... And like I didn't flip a my goal tile in the first round, which then meant I couldn't do it. So you've really got to be focused. I think because you didn't do a mission in round one, <laughs> yeah, you were never going to do nine missions. No. No. And because you didn't buy a good in round one, no, you were never going to do that. No. But you did the other stuff instead. Yeah. 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 Right. So we're all done. Thank you. Thank you very much to you two for joining me. Uh, and yeah, I hope this video has yeah showed you how the game is played. As I mentioned at the start, this is a prototype copy of the game with the rules as they are at the moment. I don't expect anything to change between now and when this comes out, but you never know. Things things might change. Uh, and in terms of, obviously, this is a prototype, but in terms of how it looks and the, the artwork and the graphic design, this is this is near final. This is variable setup as well. This is absolutely, let's just show you that now quickly, because I did all of this before you arrived. But what you do is there are six triangular pieces. Three of them have feathers on, three of them don't have feathers on. So you mix these up. The outside board is obviously always the same. And then if I say I'm gonna put the first piece here, this is a space without a feather. Okay. Therefore I need to put a piece with a feather there. That's not one of them. That's not one of them. Oh, in fact, <laughs> I think they're different on the back. Okay. Yeah, they are. They're not double-sided though, are they? No. no. But it's, it's clear that these are the ones with feathers and these are the ones without feathers. So what we do is we put a feather one there and it can go anywhere oh, around. Oh, okay. So you've actually got quite a bit of variability yeah. there in terms of the setup. I don't know whether it would make a massively different game, but it's nice. I think it would a little bit because one of the things I, I was sort of thinking when you were explaining is I comboing the feathers was the hardest thing for me at the beginning. And I was, do you remember I said, where's there a yeah, purple next to orange? Because yeah. I was thinking where I want to move. I think it would make quite a big difference. Yeah, again. yeah. Uh, and especially the tiles which need to be in five different 
scoring ones or for all of the pink feathers mm. where they are yeah. can influence that which means the tile that allows you to move from one village to another mm. I mean you two both use that yes <laughs> use it <laughs> twice <laughs> did you or not or once? no only once only once, once. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, I use it twice I had it once and then I used it I think on the top of these but yeah right yeah we're all done so yeah thank you very much for watching give the video a thumbs up let us know if you found it useful and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time Bye-bye. Thank you.